hey guys welcome to my channel it's me ada in today's video i'm going to share with you guys how to make a face mask pattern and then how to transfer that pattern onto fabric so um in the wake of coronavirus there's been a lot of um, requests on how to make a face mask um so i thought i should just jump on that bad wagon and provide um, a tutorial for you guys so guys um this face mask is not meant to replace your medical face mask but it will help um, protect you against the coronavirus especially because the virus is large and so um, fabric can usually protect it so guys if you want to know how to make um, this face mask please keep on watching this video and do um, like share and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll see you guys in my next video but until then stay safe bye So we're going to take two measurements across your nose to your ears and then from that line across your nose down to your jaw um, line. So guys, the pattern for a face mask is quite small. So I'm using an A4 paper to do this pattern. So first thing I'm going to do is to draw my X and Y axis. That's just draw a straight line um as i am doing so um this line i'm drawing now is 15.5 centimeters and then the the y axis which i'm drawing uh is going to be 12.5 centimeters so i'm just marking my my axis properly so that it can be more visible and then I'm going to write 15.5 centimeters just so you guys can see exactly what I am doing and a novice can actually make this pattern. So after that, we are just going to find the midpoint on the X axis. So the midpoint of 15.5 cm is about 7.9 cm. So I'm going to mark that point for 7.9. And then on that point that I have marked, I'm going to draw a straight line measuring 12.5 cm. So um, that straight line I drew, of course, is also going to be across over the y axis so um after that i'm just going to make sure that my straight line which i drew actually ends in the same line as my y axis so guys after making sure that my new line actually ends in the same place with my y axis i'm going to create an 8 c 8.5 cm line so to create that line i'm going to place my ruler and place the midpoint to be 4.3 cm and then just extend it to 8.5 so as you can see this line i've drawn is 8.5 cm but the midpoint is 4.3 so after i have done that i'm just going to mark 2 cm from the end of that my 8.5 cm line and also 2 cm from the beginning of that my 8 0.5 cm line just like i am doing in, as you can see in the video so i'm going to draw a straight line to join those two points um across that midline that i drew as well so i'm just going to use my my ruler to also join the ends of those points together so after we have done that now we're just going to um mark um 3.5 cm from the um, end of my y axis line just as you can see and i'm also going to mark 1.5 cm from the top of my x axis line so i'm just going to make that point very visible as you can see then we're going to use our french curve to uh, add our curves by joining those points by joining these points together as you can see so i joined that point that i made to the end of that my 2 cm line that i drew just like this so as you can see we have a curve now and i'm also going to use my french curve again to join that 
3.5 cm um, point to the midpoint that my midpoint on my x-axis and then I'm also uh, going to just write it down so that it's be clearer 3.5 cm then I'm also going to use my curve again to join from that midpoint of my 15.5 cm line that's my x-axis to that um, 1.5 points that I made on the top of my x-axis so after I have done that I'm going to extend the two cm line that I drew by um, half and half a cm that is 0 0.5 cm and I'm going to just draw a line to join that then um, I'm going to use my ruler to join that point that new point that I just made to the end of the first line that I drew that's my 8.5 cm line so I am just going to use now a ruler to join uh, that my 1.5 cm um, dots that I made on my x-axis and join it to the new um, point, 0 0.5 um, point that I made so as you can see our marks is coming up so I'm just going to make that straight line that I drew to be more curved by using my French curve to actually create a curve from that 1.5 cm um, line to the 0 0.5 point wow so that's all guys uh, we're just going to cut this out and then replicate it on our fabric So guys, I made sure that I marked this out properly, placing all the CMs where they're supposed to be, so that even a novice can replicate this um, mask without even hearing my instructions. So I just went ahead to cut everything all out, and after cutting, I just went to replicate it on my fabric, as I'm still going to show you guys anyway. So as you can see guys, I pinned it to my fabric. I'm using scrap fabric, okay? I use this to sew um, in some of my other videos. So I'm just using it because it's what I have left. So you're just going to cut this. Um, I'm going to cut two pieces of this. But you can actually cut this on a fold. You can place the fabric together, two pieces of fabric, and just cut it at once. But you need two pieces. You don't, you don't just need one. You need two. So um, yeah, just make sure you cut out two two panels for this so now that i'm done cutting um, i'm also going to replicate it on my lining and then go ahead and sew as you can see this is my lining fabric that i've also cut out i cut out two panels now we're going to sew it in the middle so guys i have sewed it in the middle i have sewed the main fabric i've also sewed the lining straight down the middle so just give it a good press make sure you iron it and then uh, give it your notches in between and then place them um, right sides facing each other okay and the wrong sides facing outward then you sew from there so to be able to sew perfectly I just use my pin my office pin to actually pin it down first pin the lining fabric on the main fabric down then use my machine to just sew so as you can see guys I have sewed it and I'm just going to turn it over right now so I'm going to turn it over and uh, after turning it over I went ahead to iron it to make it um, better to manipulate so I ironed it properly and then went ahead to um, put my elastic bands on it so guys, left the remaining thing to do is to put our elastic band. I'm using um, 6.5 inches of elastic band. Make sure you measure it uh, by putting it um, around your ear and drawing it down to where you think it will actually be for your mask. And then I just uh, placed it like this and went ahead to sew it into the mask. So guys, I think it's pretty easy. Our mask is done and it looks really ninja-like. So thank you guys for watching and um, yeah, please subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye.